everyone and welcome back to the uh, channel hope you're on a fantastic uh, day now I just had to post this um, video uh, today now this morning as I was about to leave for work I noticed on GMTV the one and only clueless PCSO EA7113 making her TV debut now this time uh, she was much better behaved and I didn't see her once ask the camera operator if they were a terrorist. So let's have a look how she got on shall we? and verbal or even physical harassment are things many women have experienced in everyday life. But one council in East London has started issuing fines as part of a campaign to tackle the problem. Liz Summers reports. Cracking down on catcalling, that's what these officers in Ilford are aiming to do as part of a campaign called This Has to Stop. Redbridge Council has made it an offence with fines of £100 for offenders. We want to educate men about their behaviour. We want to engage women so they come forward and report things to the police. And we want to enforce against the sword men who are going out specifically to catcall and harass women on our streets. It follows the murder of law graduate Zara Alina in Ilford last summer. Jordan McSweeney was caught on CCTV following other women before attacking Zara. A survey of women in the town found 91% of experienced catcalling. 62% have been followed by a man and 26% have been touched. The council has issued two fines for catcalling since December. I think it makes sense and hopefully we can see a difference. I don't think it'll do anything. Since it's quiet, it isn't. Someone's going to do it again, aren't they? Really? So. It's a very good campaign. I really appreciate this, um, making uh, the society safer and better for women. Street sexual harassment could soon be an official crime in England and Wales. Plans backed by the Home Secretary could lead to prison sentences of up to two years. Meanwhile, other councils may well be calling time on catcalling. Liz Summers, Good Morning Britain. Now, since the last video, uh, PCSOEA7113 must have had some uh, training of how to deal with a cameraman. But this is how she handled a cameraman last time. Morning. Hello, how you doing? I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Nice to see what you're filming. Uh, well, you at the moment, because you've come up to me. Sorry? You at the moment, no, well, because like, you've come up to me. Before that, was you taking the Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. Why is that, sir? Why? Yeah. yeah, so I do observational uh, documentaries, so I'm doing a thing on the police at the moment uh, okay. in, light, in light of the report that's just come out right. into the, uh, the behaviour of certain police officers and the Met as a whole. Right, okay. So have you got any comment you'd like to make on that? No, I'm not making no comment. That's okay, have you, have, okay have, you, have you got a designation card on you that I can have a look at? Of course. Okay, can I see well, a designation? Well, I can get some details from you. I don't know who you are exactly. Yeah, you're not getting no details off me. Right, okay. Because I don't need to give any of these sounds to you. Why are you filming outside the police station? Am I committing an offence? You can't, you can't, I mean, I want to know the reason why, because there's, why? You know, there's been loads of terrorist attacks. And okay, do you okay, do you okay, when was the last time a police station was attacked by a terrorist? It doesn't matter, Sam. I'm well, it does, because it's, no, it it's never happened in the The only type of place it's happened is in Northern Ireland in the Troubles. Right, so I'm, I'm asking you a question, but you're asking me questions back. Well, I don't have to answer your questions. Right, and I still haven't seen your designation card. I don't have to show you anything. Yes, you, you do have to. It's part of your policy to show me your really. designation card. Yeah. Yes, it is. So EA7113. Yeah. 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 So I can see your designation card, please. It's part of your policy to show me your designation card. Mm. 
So can I see the designation? Can I please as part of your policy? Okay, well, an email is going to go into Chief Superintendent Andrew Bell, and uh, you'll get uh, educated. Because you have to, it's part of your policy. Honest, it's part of your. I've just got authorization from my. my yeah, I, I actually said I walk away. Just, yeah, yeah. I should just leave because, you alone and walk away. Because I'm, I'm not committing. I'm not committing an offence. So, under your policy, you're supposed to give me your designation card. Why and that does it because that, that is what because it's part of your policy. Sorry, it's a part of your policy. What, when asked by policy? when asked by a member of the public right. to see a PCSO's, I'm only going to get this confirmed if my well, get it, get it confirmed. Get it confirmed. Says that, I'm get it, get it confirmed. I'll show you. Otherwise, I'm not showing you any member of the public. Well, you're supposed to be showing me a copy of your designation you card. Are. You haven't identified yourself. Well, I'm a member of the public. I don't need to identify myself. Right, okay. so the only time I need I to identify myself is I'm committing an offence. Good have morning. To show he's a member of public, you say. That's how he's identified. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good morning. So how you yeah, can you. Power card. Yeah, and, and, and an email is going to go into your Chief Superintendent, Andrew Bell, to let him know that you're not following, following your policy. Can you identify yourself, officers, please? Yeah, I'm PC Miles. I've got no body board on That's all right, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, hi, good morning, officers. I don't understand why I have to show him my desk. Because it's a part of your policy. You think it's part of my policy? What policy? I, I carry it with him. I carry it with me, don't yeah. get me wrong, yeah, but yeah. I don't have to show it to you. Yes, you do. Yeah. When a member of the public asks to see your policy, because it's what the police, uh, the chief constable, is the well, powers so, that is designated to you. I've never had anyone asking me for my designated power card, but I have a Okay, can I see that please so I can see what power you've actually been designed? And it's good that you actually uh Yes. I think yeah. in black and white yeah. the ID card is shown. Obviously with respect a lot of members of the public when we're dealing with them just see the uniform and they're happy yeah. with being let Because they don't know they're right. You're so you're doing some sort of form of order? Well no, I'm a member of the public. Okay, but I'll see uh, that's, that's good. Well I've got a camera. Yeah. Yeah. So with the orders, they just want to make sure everything is... Um, is correct. And at the moment, you're not so. putting yourself in a good light, especially of the report that's just happened about the Met. It's absolutely shocking behaviour. If, you got if, so. if anything, you should be crossing, crossing the eye. Right, so this is what actually gives you your, your powers by the Chief thank Constable. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all you have to do first of all, and then we wouldn't have had this situation. Right, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. Day. Good day. How are you doing, Officer Joe? Now, the interaction with the uh, following uh, four um, plainclothes uh, officers uh, was exactly how it should be um, done. Now, what's quite interesting uh, about this, when we're speaking to, uh, I can't remember her shoulder number, but I think her name was, her name was Ellie, PC Ellie, I'll call her. Uh, she actually um, told us about the cat calling. Uh, that was actually uh, the subject of... Um, the article on the GMTV this morning. So you heard it first on Scorpion Audits, guys. How you doing, officer? Right, yeah, you both good? good? good. You think yeah, yeah, just going back to the yeah. station. Yeah. 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 But, but for some, is it? Breakfast? Yeah. Or just, just to, for refreshments. That's all. There's one thing you can do when you go in there. There's been some guys actually waiting for a, about an hour now. Uh, no, not that long, about half an hour for the front office and it is, you know, this is the only police station in the London Borough of Redbridge that's got a front office. It says it's 24 hours manned, but you've got two people and one, there was actually three, one person's actually walked away. Can we get someone out there to see them and for the public please? Yeah. 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 Can you identify yourself officers please? I can identify myself to you, that's perfectly fine. Thank myself. you. I appreciate you asking that. Yeah, no problem at all. And thanks for both being polite and professional. Hey, uh, I'm PC Ellie Daly, I'm based at Ilford Town Centre team. Okay, lovely. <laughs> yeah, so if you get any more calls, this is a really good guy walking about with a camera yes, today. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's going to be me. Oh, special constable. Oh, yeah. Don't it voluntary? You, oh, yeah. you want to you wanna be uh, an officer in the end? Um, perhaps, but I haven't decided yet, but for now I'm just happy to help do my bit. Yeah, okay. Right, so. Lovely, okay. cheers. That'd be great if you can get the front yeah. office uh, the people. They've been they've been waiting there for a long time. No, that's uh, that's it. Uh, the yeah, only only thing. So I like to start the uh, look at the crime stats uh, for the yeah. uh, for the area. There's nothing on the notice boards about you know what you're doing about the uh, the crimes that are in uh, in the London Borough of Redbridge. One, one thing we're doing today. I know you're going to love this. Yeah. We're, we're actually while we're playing clothes, we're in, oper in operation. Based on pickpockets coming out to be. Yeah, that, that is actually, yeah, yeah. fifth of the person actually, is your yeah, biggest. It's yeah. one of our highest. If you've, yeah. if you've had a nose, you'd know that. Yeah, of course I've had a nose. <laughs> Love it. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing fifth of the person staff, getting out there, speaking to banks. And stuff. Yeah, my, my job's the same, what's you know. Well, 
<laughs> and it's good. What, what's what's on the on the website as well? You know, because normally on a lot of forces, uh, it will say what the uh, the crime hot spots are, what the crimes are, but it also say what the priorities are. But for Redbridge, there's none. There's and none. for this what for this ward, it doesn't say. So remember, the public looking at that, it's like, well, what you're doing to, to keep me safe, especially like the top the top three. And, and one that I'm really shocked about that I see across a lot of violence is um, sort of violence and sexual abuse. Yes, it's like. Have you heard it, it, about the new, the new um, thing that they brought in where basically they're saying that police officers can give £100 fines for like things like catcalling and stuff like that? Really? So we are trying to bring what, uh, it in. So obviously as a town centre team as well, it's a new thing that we're okay, trying so to Okay, so we've got to be careful about calling you names then. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. Unless it's constable, then I don't, don't want to know. But no, yeah, so things are coming out. But if that's not on there, because I would look myself yeah. because I am in the centre, so yeah. I would know. Yeah. If that's not on there, I'll take a lot of requests to media team. Yeah. When did um, Andrew Bell take over as the new chief? As a new chief, oh, it was a while back. Was it a while back now? I yeah, because I. I uh, I only well, I only actually noticed it because I was coming coming here because I've done um, I did like Longford and Barclay and Dagenham yeah. and there was nothing on there about him being uh, appointed. But other than he was the borough commander for uh, Barclay and Dagenham. Yeah. Uh, but when I was looking up uh, up Barclay side and this station, and, you know, what, what what's your opinion on you know? I, I mentioned that this is the only station in the borough with a front uh, desk. You know, as a member of the public. You know, and if I lived, right, you know, I'm not saying where I live, and I don't actually live in this borough, but if I lived like the other end of the borough, like over Chigwell or something like that, and I need help, and maybe I haven't got a phone, I want to get to the front office, and like all the police stations are, are closed. So I just, I've been over Barking Side this morning, and like there's not, there's not even, you know, what, it's, it's not open, but there's not even what I call the uh, the yellow phone of disconnection, Officer 101, uh, outside. Uh, there's not even that there, but there are officers there because I see them going in and out. Yeah, there is there is officers there. It's still yeah. it's still a patrol centre. People still patrol from there. Mainly safe neighbourhoods and I like violent and stuff like that. Yeah, but right. still patrol from there. Okay. The front office is crucial now. Right here. Yeah. But there's some people who raise officers. You know, the general public can raise that, and the more people raise people, obviously, the more it comes into life. But I think this one we need we need more. Yeah, and we'll especially as well, it's like you know unmanned as well. It's like yeah, it's the only station that's unmanned. I get that. You know. But, so, uh, we'll maybe feedback that, 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 uh, that back to your sergeant. I'll grab a chat and yeah. see if I can help out front desk. Okay. And uh, probably see you around. Yeah, it's good. Hanging around. Yeah, well, I was actually just about to go, so it's quite actually quite a boring video. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and to the uh, the PCSO uh, turned uh, uh, turned up, which uh, actually made it entertaining and. <laughs> You, you, oh got, you, you guys, you guys saved the saved today. So should we start again? I'll have an argument with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want, well, can you come out with section forty three? Because yeah, that would be on, hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Stop recording. I'll come back. <laughs> no, well, you know that's not going to happen. Enjoy your day. Okay. Yeah. Good day. And uh, maybe if you're out pickpocketing, I'll uh, well, I, I won't uh, be. If I do see, I won't be too close uh, Thank you. to you I'm, because I do uh, appreciate that. Uh, uh, because uh, you know, if there's people pickpocketing, they need to be taken off the streets. So. Okay, cheers, take care of a good day officers. Thanks for, thanks for saving the day. Because the PCO, PCSO is about to get really embarrassed. Thanks for taking the time to uh, watch the uh, the video, uh, everyone. It's very much uh, appreciated. Now, if you like the uh, the video, uh, please give it a like. Please give it a share. Um, put on the notification bell. And uh, as always, have a fantastic day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.